It was the year 1724. A funeral procession was heading its way to Musselburgh, Scotland. The hearse had the remains of a young woman, aged only 22. It was a dark evening. It would take the mourners, about two hours to travel the eight miles. The young woman had been hanged in Grassmarket, Scotland. For the crimes of having an extramarital affair, and on top of it, for killing a baby. Halfway through the journey, the funeral party decided to stop at the Sheep Heed Inn, in Duddingston. It was midway to their destination. A passerby, who was coming into the inn, on horseback, heard a noise. On investigation, he found that the noise was coming from the coffin. He ran inside the inn to inform the innkeeper and the guests. The deceased woman's relatives, and friends, ran outside to investigate the claims of the man. Lo! Behold! They too heard loud thumping noises, coming from inside the coffin. Fearing that the ghost of the dead woman was trying to escape, the funeral party bolted in all directions. The innkeeper, and other guests, who were bold enough, ventured to open the coffin. The young woman, who had been hanged just two hours earlier and declared dead, was alive and kicking. They helped her get on her feet and took her inside. But for a feeling of soreness in her neck, the woman was alive, not dead. The story of the woman, who had miraculously resurrected, starts a year earlier. Margaret Dixon was her name. The unfortunate turn of events in her life, started when she decided to work at an inn, in the tiny market town of Kelso. Maggie falls for the innkeeper's son's charms, and becomes pregnant. Fearing social disapproval, she hides her pregnancy, and finally gives birth to a stillborn baby. She laid the body of the baby on the banks of the River Tweed, not being heartless enough, to throw it deep into the river. The baby's body is discovered and Maggie is condemned to death for murder. She is hanged in the public square. Now how did Maggie manage to resurrect? Well, that is a story by itself. It is said that Maggie, seduced her hangman John Dalgish, in Tolbooth jail, where she had been lodged. It is said that John, had loosened the noose, so that she could survive. Law could not try her again for murder, as it violated the legal principle of double jeopardy. Superstitious folk also saw divine intervention. It was argued that she had been punished, and hanged once, and they could not try her again for the same crime. Maggie soon became famous, in the little town of Musselburgh, where she was looked at with awe. She went by the honorific, half-hanged Maggie. She married the man, who had made her pregnant, and went on to live for another forty years. Death finally consumed her, only when she was sixty-three. The hangman John Dalgish claimed he did his job right. He said he could not explain how she survived. The pub, she peed in, where the funeral party stopped and Maggie resurrected, survives to this day. So does, the legend of half-hanged Maggie. Thank you.